Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the first season of Clary's. And this is a CBS series which takes on the aftermath of Silence of the Lambs with Clary Starling and her career afterwards. So this is based off of Thomas Harris's works. This is from creator Alex Kurtzman, who's worked on the J.J. Abrams Star Trek, he's worked on Sleepy Hollow, and The Mummy. And I'm assuming it was going to really be part of the Dark Universe. And this series is a 13-episode run. And not going to lie, this one was hard for me to keep up with. And not from the sense where it was like hard to follow and stuff like that. It's just there was nothing about this show that made me particularly like, oh, I can't wait for next week. It felt like your run-of-the-mill procedural. And here's the thing, if you're really into that and you're the kind of person that watched like every single episode of Law and Order, like there's that here. And there's mystery, there's intrigue, there's some one-off episodes, like um, early in the season there's like this kind of cult, like hostage situation, and then as the season went on there was a bigger, broader mystery about it, and you had some other subplots which I'll get to, but in general it's a procedural. And it just happens to have some characters from Thomas Harris's works. Except no Hannibal Lecter. Or... And a much... Uh, here's the thing. I feel like one of my biggest issues with this series, which I'm not saying this is a, like a bad show. It just feels so forgettable. And you have Rebecca Breeds, who plays Clary Starling. And I don't feel like she has any presence. Her accent was like I it took me out of it honestly and this is somebody trying to follow up the work of Jodie Foster who was amazing in Silence of the Lambs and felt so organic in the role this feels like I'm seeing a performance and even Julianne Moore and Hannibal didn't fit right either so I don't know if like turns out that Jodie Foster is like the ideal Clary Starling but like she really felt natural and I related to her and I cared about her. You have these moments where Starling goes to therapy and tries to take on a lot of things and that's where the show tries to get a little bit different than just your procedural drama but in really hits surface level and I felt like there was a lot more they could do here. It's interesting they do dig into some other things like they go into uh Catherine the young woman who was kidnapped by Buffalo Bill and the uh senator's daughter and they go into some interesting things with what was going on with her and they didn't spend a whole lot of time with it but that was something interesting to go through they obnoxiously hinted at Hannibal Lecter and stuff like that but like never actually really confronted it and they feel like they retcon some things about Clarice's back, uh, like her backstory and trying to make it more interesting. But like, I didn't really care and it didn't feel really earned. And you have some moments where they confront like obsessive cops and confront racial tensions within the police. And like, I feel like they're trying to shoehorn in too many things then it didn't really feel organic or meaningful, and I didn't really connect to it. A lot of this just felt superficial and on the surface. And, like, you have Michael uh, Cudlitz, who plays Paul Krenler, who has some issues, and he has some family issues. And, honestly, he's one of the more interesting characters in this show. And, like, a shout-out to Nick Sandow and Cal Penn, who have some interesting roles in this show, but, like, I just feel like this feels more like a lot of people love Silence of the Lambs and Thomas Harris's work. Let's just make a show, but not really feel like they're committing to making something really special and meaningful. It just feels like it's riding on Silence of the Lambs, and that's not enough to make me interested in the show. And when the 13th episode was up, I'm like, thank God. And, like, the main mystery of it felt like it was like corporate cover-up and stuff like that and what makes Silence of the Lambs so different is the psychological aspects of it and that really wasn't a big focus here and in the end I feel like Clarice is just your passable forgettable procedure and from what it sounds like I don't know if it's going to get renewed but 
I wouldn't be upset if it didn't. But those are my thoughts on the first season of Clarys. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.